friends, so today is going to be so exciting. We're going to go out into the garden and harvest majority of our corn. I feel like we planted our corn not that long ago. This morning I've just got my kitchen cleaned up. We like to clean our kitchen like from dinner. So pretty much as soon as we eat, like we, as we cook, we clean as we go. And as soon as we eat, we, that's it. Like that, that's done. <laughs> like the day is over, we're just relaxing. So like just here, pots, pans, couple of knives and the dishwasher is now going. All the benches are clean, the kitchen's all nice and clean, ready to process this corn as well. I'm gonna harvest it and process it today. I fed my sourdough. It is not the flour I usually feed it with. I fed it yesterday, it barely bubbled. It did rise, but there was just no bubbles. But it also came out from the fridge yesterday. It's been in the fridge for a couple of weeks. I mean, it's been in the fridge for longer. So hopefully that works so we can make bread. If not, I still got some more discard in the fridge. I'll just go get my usual flour and I'll attempt that tomorrow. But hopefully we can make some bread today too. First, when we go outside, I'll give you guys an update on the alfalfa sprouts. Oh, and did I say this already? I might have already started talking about this and I'm getting off topic, but I have harvested two corn cobs already. Um, they were slightly under. Now I have a feeling that they're a little bit over. <laughs> I don't know. This is my first year growing corn and I feel like the cobs are either giant cobs or they're the tiniest little cobs. Like there's no in between of what I've grown. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I'm just so excited. I just, it's mind blowing to me on how fast this whole corn growing process was for me. But yeah, we'll just go out there and we'll harvest it. We'll process them. Um, as well as I've got tomatoes to process and I got chilies to process. So, and then yeah, like I said, hopefully we can make sourdough, but if that doesn't work, then it doesn't work. We'll, we'll try that again tomorrow, but let's go outside and just, oh, I'm so excited. It's my first time coming out and it is windy. So I guess I'm doing a voiceover. <laughs> that sucks. But I would just set the tripod up and let's just harvest the corn. I, I, no, before I set it up, I'll show you the corn. I'm so excited. So like I said, this is my first year growing the corn. Um, and I did come out and hand pollinate a few times. So I don't know. We'll, we'll see how we go. Um, just trying to think where to set this up. All right, so we are in the process of doing weeds. We've been managing up around there, up around the fruit trees, not the orange tree or the back corner yet. Just there's lots of weeds here. And this is supposed to be the grass. We're not doing grass here anymore, but yeah. So ignore those weeds. And there's also all weeds in between here. I did start to weed through here, but I'm like, this corn's gonna get harvested any day now, which today's now the day. Once it's all done, because once I do harvest these corns, also when I grew them, it was in like two concessions. So as you can see, this is not ready to harvest. This one was in the second plant. So I sown 105 seeds. Um, only had like 20 something plants germinate. And then so in the gaps, I sown again. So we are in two different stages, but I feel like most of even the second stage is ready to harvest. Um, So you can see this one here so this is the main stem of the plant with the tassel and this corn is dried up here she's nice and big and she's like falling away a lot the ones that I did harvest did not fall away like that so that's why I think an indicator was too early now I feel like this is an indicator on a good time um, this is kind of like what I harvested like how it wasn't fallen away completely from the main stem this cob here but I'm, I'm just gonna do it I think just get it done but yeah the cobs like this we will leave because that's definitely not ready we definitely want them dried see that one there that's nice and dry I don't know there's a few that one's like not really dry but it's fallen so maybe that didn't get pollinated correctly I'm not sure okay so I just got my basket and a knife we'll just no actually I want a picture first Harvesting this corn was so much fun. So let's do a little bit of a rewind to planting this corn. I cannot remember. I swear I did film it inside of a video. I thought it was the main video. I cannot remember what video it was in. I still am yet to go back to try and watch it. But all in all, this corn grew so quick for me. Um, 
I do believe it probably took about six to seven weeks from planting the seed to harvest day. And at the time of I filming this in harvest day, this was right in the new year. So it, I'm again still about a month behind in my videos or about, yeah, it wasn't actually right, right in the new year, but it was within the first couple of weeks of January 2024 is when I harvest this corn. We harvested about half of the corn plants here. So I sown over a hundred seeds, only 20 something germinated. I re-sown, not as much. <laughs> I was just a little happy. I re-sown some more seeds, not as much. In total, I think we had just under 60 plants and I think I harvested around 30. The rest of these plants we left to continue to grow. Um, but my goodness, it was just so much fun. <laughs> So we got six. As you can see, some are giant <laughs> and others are not. But I believe the plant just produces one main. Sometimes it produces a second. Um, but I don't care. It's still food. It's still corn. It's still so fun. Another indicator that I've kind of learned is, see this is a nice big one. So this is all dried, which it was the first time I harvested, but these papers, see this is where I feel like this one might be over dry because it's, ah, the wasp is back. No. I feel like I'm making this damn thing angry. I'm so scared. <laughs> I just want to get my corn. Yeah, I've decided we'll go inside, make a nice coffee, and then we'll go back out. And hopefully that wasp is gone. I left my tripod outside, but I feel like it was like hovering around, freaking diving at me like the magpie, like swooping or something. <laughs> so I'm like, I feel like it's only to get me, and I'm shit scared of it. So let's ignore the corn, make a nice coffee, which that sounds really good, and then hopefully. With me not being out there, the wasp has like, kind of gone away. Because <laughs> I don't want to get stung. I've never been stung. Even from a bee, never been stung. I believe my brother is allergic to bees. So there's a chance I could be. But I don't know. never been stung. <laughs> I don't want to find out. <laughs> I'm obsessed with those videos on TikTok. I don't like the chewing ones, but anyway. Nick and I are on a new diet and we weigh ourselves daily. I've lost, today's day four, and in total I've lost 1.6 kilo in four days. So that's really good. I know your body naturally fluctuates, but the fact it's just down each time, I mean, I'm fine with that. I'm happy with that. Um, so, yeah, this is technically, I'm just like trying to see if I can see the bloody wasp out there. This is technically breaking the fast, I'm only supposed to have water, but I mean, I have to do something to <laughs> do something in the meantime away from that wasp. And like I said, this sounds really good, so I'm not mad about it. Stan boss is not making this enjoyable. Do I just ignore it? I don't want to get stung. I don't know. So I was determined to get these corn plants harvested. It was fun of what I did start and you could see the 
wasp flying back and forth around me. It was still pestering me, but it's okay. I just tried my hardest to ignore it. I ran off a couple of times and then I came back. Here, as you can see, I ripped up the whole plant. I, my intention is not to rip up the whole plant. I was harvesting the corn and then I went back around with my knife to cut down at base level so then the roots can decompose in the soil to give the soil just a little bit nutrition back from obviously all the soil. I mean all the nutrition the corn plants took from the soil to grow um, but I accidentally ripped a whole plant off. It's okay. I just chucked it to the side and it's just I like to do the chop and drop method. Realistically I should have came back and chopped it up more. Um, to smaller pieces but I, I did just leave that there and the sun took care of it. This is how much corn we ended up harvesting and here I'm just explaining what I just said on how with the knife with a chop and drop and I'll go back around in base level realistically or next year what I'm going to try and do and what I feel like I should have done just to save up some more time is chop the plants there's the wasp is to chop the plants as I harvested the corn from the plants because it was a little tricky coming back and just going right around and figuring out what still had corn what didn't um, because I didn't harvest every single plant and I am doing this voiceover just because the wind was just it was too too much interference with wind noise all right so I think this is all the cobs that we are harvesting today I think we're about 18, 19, maybe up to 20. I'm not sure, I haven't lost count. But what I'm going to do, leave these into the shade here. And then like I said, I'm just going to knock down all the ones that we have taken both cobs off of. Um, some cobs still has like the mini one left. <gasps> no. Oh, I get a heebie jeebie so much. Okay, the two cobs I have harvested and I have not seen by my eye any of these bugs. I've just seen the whole of the bugs. So there's a bug in this one. Yuck! I hate the bugs, but I'll show you. So see there, the hole. So there is a bug. It might have left. I hate bugs. <laughs> Hopefully that's the only one. Ugh. Anyway, it is what it is. It's Mother Nature, I suppose. But ugh. All right, so in total, we have got 22. I've just spotted another one with a hole. I hate that. Oh, okay. I'm putting gloves on, I think, for this. <laughs> but 22 in our basket. Beautiful. Hopefully, there's not too much bug damage. I don't know. So what I did, I went through the whole basket. I sorted them out into categories of what had a bug hole which thankfully only two cobs had a bug hole the rest of the cobs were fine that makes my little heart happy I get the heebie-jeebies from bugs so badly and I did struggle with this I don't know what it is I just I don't like the thought of them and then Nick did have to remind me it's like it's not going to bite you it's not going to sting you it's just a caterpillar or a worm no it's a caterpillar yeah it's a caterpillar um it might just, if it touches you, it's going to feel a little funky. It's going to do no harm and everything like that. Which, I don't know why, it's common sense, but I do need that reinsurance. Here I am stoked, okay? This was the first, from this harvest, the first corn that we, that I've like taking the husks and silks off. Um, all outside. And it was perfect. This was probably the most perfect, this corn. Um, so as I was going along and getting some that aren't so perfect, which we will go through and talk to together, um, it was a little disheartening because of how good of a start we got with this corn. A lot of people say digging for potatoes or harvesting carrots is kind of like a treasure hunt. Well, more so potatoes like a treasure hunt, but like still with the carrots being a root vegetable, you're just not knowing what you're going to pull. I feel that way as well with the corn. Once you unravel the silks, um, the husks, you don't know how your corn is going to look and it can look in so many different ways. Like I said, we'll go in depth in the different different bits of corn, but I'm just pointing out some bits that didn't germ, no, not germinate, that didn't, I can't think of my words now, didn't pollinate. So although it, it, it looks like a perfect corn, it's the most perfectest corn that I did harvest, it's still tr technically not perfect because there is still a couple of spots that did not germinate not germinate pollinate anyway so I'm just ripping it out outside bits are flying about that's fine it can decompose in the garden um, 
I don't mind having a messy garden if it's with like natural product but for the bulk of it I do put it in this brown bag just shopping bag just so it's not like every everywhere and a few times bits did land in the pond which is behind me which obviously I don't want that like flooding up in the pond so I did remove that when I noticed um, and then this whole bag with all the scraps ended up going into the compost because it's all just natural organic material and it's great for compost um, also doing this outside 10 out of 10 recommend I don't think I'm ever going to do a corn harvest inside because it does get messy here is the second cob of corn I'm just showing the difference from the first one that we just shown to the second one the pollination is very good but at this point I'm like did I not water it enough did I harvest it too early I wasn't too sure to be honest it's my first year I'm still not too sure but again we do talk about that a little bit further on in the video and yeah I just done all of the corn I kept the two last ones with the bug holes to last um, just because again they give me the heebie-jeebies but after Nick reassured me that it is just a caterpillar a tiny little caterpillar then here I am getting to the bug hole once I really did not want to do it I was about halfway through and then that's when I went into side and had a little bit of a meltdown um, but he did offer as well to do it for me but I'm like no this is silly like this is really dramatic of me but I can't help it um, I was determined to do it I want to do I mean I do do things myself I am pretty independent um, but I just don't like the fear taking over like I still want to push through my little fear and realistically what am I scared of nothing like yeah they're gross like I'm not they're a pest they're not it's not nice the fact that they're eating and destroying our plants but it's not it's not going to harm me the wasps on the other hand that 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 can harm so that's okay I'm fine to run away from wasps if they're coming around at me but a little caterpillar like this I really shouldn't have um see that right there we're into the pond I really should not have this reaction but I do and it is something I'm working on and I just think it's kind of funny as well now looking back to be completely honest all in all though it did not see any bugs the corn was not damaged I did find this um, also not not a fan of that but that went into the bin because um, the silks and the husks from that and when I saw that I ended up did putting a glove on I was trying to be brave but you know it's okay that did go into the garbage because just in case there is a bug still on it and I didn't see it I just don't want them breeding in my compost realistically they're probably naturally already in my compost but I don't know about it so it's okay um, so those couple of husks did go into the bin and then that bag like I said go into the compost and then the basket of beautiful corn that we have all right so this is the corn at the end of it with all 27 cobs some of them is teeny tiny little baby corn like the actual baby species i thought that was a whole different species of corn or maybe this that was weird um yeah i thought baby corn was like a whole different species but maybe it's literally baby sized corn i don't know but or maybe I'm just making things up and this is not what the proper baby corn is. But either way, we do have a few very tiny baby corn spears. Like the um, the middle bit, what you call that? I can't think of it. It's so little. I think we're just going to chuck this up and eat it as whole in a stir fry. So those will keep fresh. We'll have that in a few days. The rest of these, this one is just picked too early the pollination for this one is really good it was just picked too early this one's probably one of the most perfect corns the pollination is incredibly good obviously it's not perfect but picking at pollination really good this one picking it was a good time the pollination was awful so that is what happens when it doesn't pollinate because each one of the um, smell of the corn LT. Each one of the I can't think of names now, like the string bits. Um, <laughs> string bits, it pollinates the single kernels. So, what I think 
I mean, majority of these pollination was good. If you can see, again, it's just picked too early. So this one's picked pretty good. This one's still pretty good, but still on that little bit early side. But there is also a lot where the pollination just is not that good, see? Every time I bring something new into this garden, she always is so curious. It's corn. That's why the onions and tomatoes are ripening in the laundry, because our laundry is outside. Because she just, she just gets them and she attacks them. Okay, she's over the corner. Um, so, all in all, I mean, this, everything's edible. We're going to eat all of it. But aesthetically, I'm a bit disappointed. But I'm also not disappointed because like I said, now I physically have seen this and this is my very first year growing corn. I know what went wrong. I don't think it's the watering and I don't think it was the fertilization. I did feed it when they got planted and then I feed it again. I think it's recommended about six weeks, but that was just growing so fast and they started to produce the fruit, like the corn. So I fed them again, probably only like three or four weeks after planting, just because they grew so fast for me. So I don't think it's lack of feed. I don't think it's lack of water. I think it's purely planting them too close. So with the pollen, because that's what I noticed, a lot of the pollen was on the top of the leaves. It didn't really get down. So I think it was on me hand pollinating and obviously I didn't hand pollinate as well as I thought I was doing it. So that's why I'm so glad. We still got corn plants. We still got, I think it was 22 corn plants out there. So, which is crazy because I swear, when I'm just looking and watering, I thought we were gonna harvest majority of the plants, but we didn't. We plant, we harvested probably a third of the plants. And yeah, two thirds are still out there. But now that these plants are out of the way, these plants have some space, and so hopefully the wind will help pollinate. I am definitely now going to go out and do another round of hand pollination. Um, which is just grabbing from the tassels to the stringy bits. I can't remember the names. Oh, I didn't know it. I just, I got a mental weight. Um, and my goal was to grow a year's worth of corn. Did I do that? No. Let me know what you would do if, on your corn harvest, if you harvest some corn and how you preserve it, if you preserve it, or if you didn't grow any corn, what you would do if you did grow corn, like how would you preserve it? Is there any recipes that you would really want to make? Um, cause yeah, corn relish was a real big thing. I don't know. I still might do corn relish and then the excess will freeze. I don't know. We might do that. Either way, thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Subscribe down below so you don't miss out on future videos. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.